They say breast cancer doesn't discriminate, and now no one knows that better than California Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez. She announced her diagnosis on Twitter a few weeks ago, and today she sat down with News 8's Kirsten Holmes to talk about it. Kirsten joins us now live in studio with more. Kirsten, I know she's staying positive and strong. What's her message to others? You know, when I spoke to Assemblymember Gonzalez about her cancer diagnosis and treatment, she not only conveyed the severity of her situation, but she was also incredibly encouraged that she will be okay and it's all thanks to early detection. In the next few weeks, when they line up a operating room, I will uh, be going in for either a single mastectomy or a double mastectomy. We should know in the next few days. I've breastfed my kids. I, you know, they're older, but but it's still very personal. It's been about a month since California Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez found out that she has breast cancer. She and her husband, County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher, share five kids. She says she has all the support that she could ever dream. He's been able to make every one of my doctor's appointments and um, follow up exams, MRIs, you name it. He's driven me to everyone. My 25 year old remembers her grandma and remembers her grandma dying of this. Having to talk through it is, is tough at different ages. Even discussing body parts and, and explaining what needs to be done is uh, it, it, it's tough. I'm a hands-on mom. I, I cook and um, take care of everybody. In fact, I usually cook before I go to Sacramento, leave it in the um, fridge or the freezer. And mm -hmm. I told them I'm going to need a little bit of help for a few weeks after the surgery. And when she's on the other side of her battle, she says she plans on leading the fight for others to have the same access to care she has. What is the point of a screening exam if you think you can't afford the treatment? And we need to make sure that everybody can afford um, being treated. I know there's so many people in my community in South San Diego and in Chula Vista and National City that don't have the kind of health care I have, that don't have those advantages. And that's something we're going to be looking at over the next few years. Post-diagnosis, you can get on Medi-Cal, but the, the tests that come within the screening and diagnosis aren't free. And her message to every woman? get your mammogram. It's going to be tough. It's a major surgery. I'm losing body parts. You know, there's all kinds of stuff going on, but I'm going to be okay. I'm going to live. And that's only because of early detection. And it's only because I got that mammogram. Gonzalez's cancer is stage zero, which is still really early, but doctors say it's aggressive and hormone positive. Gonzalez says she plans on being open and transparent about her treatment in an effort to help raise awareness. Also, we have an update on this story for you. She tweeted out just a few minutes ago this afternoon that her latest her latest scans show no sign of the cancer spreading. Marcella, you and I were talking about yeah. this. We're thinking that that means that she may only have to have a single mastectomy. Right. But we'll wait for her to update us. Yeah, it was so great when we saw her tweet that out that it didn't spread to her other breast. And Kirsten, I know Assemblymember Gonzalez is just beginning this fight, but she is already trying to make a difference in other people's lives. That's right. She wants everyone to know that early detection is the key to saving her life. And if she is, again, encouraging everyone to get their mammograms starting at the age of 40 and maybe even earlier than that if you have family history. A lot of people put off those regular screenings yep. during the pandemic, so uh, now's the time to go in and get that done if you haven't. Exactly. Thanks so much, Kirsten. Welcome.